Hello and welcome to Jeremy's Yorkshire Allotment Adventures on what is a warm day here. It's cloudy but it's very warm, quite muggy, there's a little small breeze and uh, well I'm stood next to my raspberries uh, because they're still luckily producing fruit. Once they've finished fruiting however it's to time to cut back and these summer fruiting ones particularly cut right back virtually to the ground and uh, but we have to wait and let them stop fruiting first of course. And that's just one of the jobs now coming towards the end of July that we can, well, start to do, prepare for the autumn. I know, we've not even got half the things growing yet and we're preparing for the autumn for some of the summer flowering vegetables here and fruits on Jeremy's Yorkshire Allotment Adventures. So once again, welcome, sit back, put your feet up, you know the drill. I hope you've got a copper and, well, enjoy the show. I was talking about my uh, butternut squash as you remember a few weeks ago and I said I didn't know well I hadn't produced any butternut squash and uh, well I've had a message from Ali in Canada my rusty garden hi Ali and a great contributor to the show so once again thank you for your message to me and it's regarding what to do with these to try and encourage the female flowers but well, apparently the male flowers on this plant are actually useless they don't produce anything so I'm just going to go ahead and I have done already cut the male flowers off and that should encourage this lovely plant here and I do talk to it you are a beautiful plant a lovely plant uh, to develop some female flowers so that we can get some butternut squashes off it it'd be a shame for this lovely plant I mean, it's massive but not producing anything um, which is great now <laughs> regarding my loofahs my loofahs I really am panicking because they're looking more and more like cucumbers and uh, they're quite big as regards a cucumber. They look identical to a cucumber. The way like a cucumber does. But again, I'm going to leave them and see just how big they get. And uh, as I said, they do. They are part of the same family. And uh, oh, hello. Looks like I've had a little something attacking one of my... Oh, a couple of my... Um, oh, no. My peppers are being attacked by something. Oh, we can't have that, can we? Because I need to have my peppers. So... I think I need to get in here and really sort out what is eating my peppers. I wonder if this has been eaten as well. No, this side is so far safe. Still not going any colour other than green. But, uh, well, you never know. The longer I leave it, the more, in fact, I might have to take one of these off and explore out and see what is inside of my little, little pepper look at that I wonder what's in there oh we'll find out let's get it cut open maybe nothing interesting well here I am with my pepper and the hole there it is so we're going to cut uh, this is my multi-tool here and let's have a see if there's anything inside I wonder what it is obviously there may be nothing inside it might have gone in escaped and just as I thought it's gone in escaped left however what is beautiful inside here I have some absolutely magnificently beautiful white seeds I can dry those out and they will be next year's seeds to plant in the hope we get some peppers from those well fingers crossed this we'll have to use <laughs> well we win some we lose some I'm going to keep an eye on the others though and we're going to try and work out what it is it's, um, well, it could be anything, couldn't it, really? But look, a beautifully formed little hole. Hmm, interesting. Well, I thought I'd end today's show here on the banking because behind me, once again, my beautiful Victoria Cross poppy has opened up and it looks like there's another seed head here coming and which will turn into a new poppy. Isn't that exciting? Oh, I do love them. They give me such pleasure this year. And I hope they do lots of self-seeding, which means I'll get lots more on the banking for next year. I can, of course, now if I want to, cut a few of those poppy heads off in the hope then it might encourage the poppies to generate more flowers. So I've done that with one or two. I might do a few more. As I say once again, 
Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for your comment, Ali. Fingers crossed it works about my butternut squash and encourages those. Um, what's great is you can't see it actually. At my feet, I've actually got a cucumber plant. I thought it was a, some sort of squash. It's not. And uh, well, it's actually produced its first cucumber. A little small, but it's a cucumber. I need to get that off the floor in the next few days. And hopefully it will start training, maybe even along here if I can get it to here, which would be great. As I say, once again, thanks ever so much for watching. Just to say that uh, there won't be a show on Wednesday. I'm really sorry. I've got too much on, actually. Uh, but there will be one back a week on Sunday. So I'll see you in a week's time here on Jeremy's Yorkshire Allotment Adventures. Don't worry. I will have time to pop down and keep an eye on things. But just not time to film. Thanks for watching. Ta-ra for now.